Hi there, I'm Jess from Ace Progress Solutions and in this video, I'm going to show you how to launch a HUD on Poker Bros using Asian Hand Converter that's integrated in DriveBud 2. So our database will be DriveBud 2 and we'll be using LD Player Emulator. Now, an important note before we get to the actual setup, the HUD only works on private clubs and not on lobby games. In Poker Bros, you have lobby games such as this, so the HUD will not work on them. Instead, we have to join a private club like this one so that the HUD will work. If you're not sure how to join a private club, we have a quick tutorial for that. Just go to drivehud.com slash blog and on there, just scroll down and look for this specific blog post entitled Poker Emulator Setup for Poker Apps 101. Click on there and then scroll down again and look for Section 8 where you will find instructions on how to join a private club in Poker Bros. Now, I will show you how to enable root access in LD Player. This step is required if you're using LD Player version 4.37 or higher so that Asian Hand Converter will work. In this video, I'm using LD Player version 5 and this is how to enable the root access. First, click on the settings button over here. Then on the left hand side, click on other settings. Look for root permission and make sure it's set to enable. And for ADB debugging, set it to open remote connection. Once that's done, click on save settings. And if you're prompted to restart LD player, then just do so. Once you've enabled root access, make sure that you close or exit LD player first before proceeding. Now, it's time for the DriveBud 2 setup. On DriveBud 2, click on the Apps tab. Then on the next set of tabs, click on Installed Apps. Let, next, click on Launch beside the Asian Hand Converter. This will open up the settings for the Asian Hand Converter. Make sure that LD Player Emulator is checked and also make sure that Poker Bros is checked under Sites. And as long as your license is working, then that's the, all the setup you need for Driver 2 and Asian Hand Converter. Now, we can launch LD Player Emulator again and open Poker Bros. Now you can see that I've launched LD Player and a driver to pop up will appear, uh, prompting you to enable root access, which we've done earlier. So just click on OK. And you will also see that a new pop up window has appeared from driver 2. This is the list of emulators. Just wait for the patching process to finish, and then once, once it shows ready, you can now open Poker Bros. Let's go ahead and open Poker Bros. On the app home screen, you'll find the games where you can enter. And as mentioned before, the HUD will not work on lobby games such as this. You need to enter a private club like this one so that the HUD will work. This is just a private club that I created for demonstration purposes. And again, if you're not sure how to join a private club, just go to drivehud.com slash blog, look for this specific blog post with this title, and go to section 8 where you can find the instructions on how to join a private club in Poker Bros. Once you've been approved to join a private club, this private club will show up on your app home screen. If you can't find it, you can scroll sideways to look for the private club, and then you will find it. So let's go ahead and enter this club. Inside, you will find the details of the club, as well as all the tables where you can play in. But before you can play, 
you will also need chips to play. So these chips, you can request them from the same agent whom you have spoken to in these steps. So whomever agent you've spoken to during this process of joining, then you can also request the chips from them. Once you have the chips, then we are now ready to play. So let's go ahead and enter this table. As you can see, we're now sitting inside the table and you will notice on the pop-up window list of emulators that the table name or table number has appeared beside the emulator. So that means the settings are set up correctly and we are now ready to play. For demonstration purposes, I'll be playing with myself so that the HUD will appear. Now we have two players and the game has started. So just keep playing until one full hand is played and then the HUD will appear. After one full hand, you can see that the HUD does now appear over here and below the two players. And on the top, you have the Drive HUD 2 logo, which you can right click to show the options that you can enable or disable. And that's it. If you have further questions or need technical assistance, just go to drivehud.com support. In there, just scroll down and you will find this support form, which you can fill out and send to us. Alternatively, you can go to the main DriveHud app and over to the right side, just click on the support button. There, a similar form will appear, which you can also fill out and hit send. And lastly, on the website, look for this contact us button. Just click on there and you can also fill out this form, hit send, and someone from our team will get back to you. Going back to the support page, we have a collection here of knowledge-based articles which answers common questions. And over here is the section for Asian Hand Converter. I've even highlighted this specific knowledge-based article, which if you will open, you will find that its contents are the same as in this video. The difference is that here everything is given step by step in text and images. Thank you for watching. Good luck at the tables and I'll see you on the next one.